My name is Marie Tesla. This is the world I live in, colorless, faded, dead. A hundred years ago, my great-grandfather Nikola Tesla dreamed of a world with limitless, free energy. But his experiment went horribly wrong. A breach formed between our world and the ether, affecting our minds. We can no longer see color. Nikola's experiment sucked the joy out of our lives. I bear my family name as a burden. I try to use my research skills to find out what went wrong. I've returned to the Tesla archives once again, looking for clues. The archives was built upon the foundation of Tesla's first lab, destroyed in the fire of 1895. I'm driven by the feeling that we never learned the whole story. I must search for evidence, lost clues. There must be an answer hidden somewhere. Oh no! The elevator's crashing! Hello? At last, I've finally reached someone. You must help me. Who is this? And why should I help you? Nikola Tesla at your service. Surely you know my... Know it? I live that name. It's my greatest shame. Shame? Oh no. The damage... Never mind. The point is to fix everything now. You can help me. We are related. Is this a prank? Yes, I'm related to the late once great Tesla, but that doesn't mean I'm related to you. I assure you, I am Tesla. We're blood relatives? Marvelous. If you found my old lab, you must take after me. There must be an ether sphere around here. Oh, no matter. I have a plan. Great. I can't wait to hear your plan, Tesla imposter. Even if you are the real Tesla, you're a villain who doesn't deserve my help. A villain? I suppose that's what people would think. But I can bring back the color. I would have done it already, but I'm stuck here in the ether. But with your help... I didn't say I'd help you. But you must. You can't pass up an opportunity to travel through time. You will. You'll give my younger self a set of blueprints. Blueprints? Right. Your sarcasm is not helping any. Are all the young people this disrespectful in your time? <laughs> the blueprints are here, in my old safe. I'm supposed to respect the man who ruined color for everyone? How do I even know you're Tesla? I should test you. Answer me this. What's the name of your cat? My cat? His name is Mezek. Well, at least you did your homework. I'll play along but only to see if you're who you say you are. That's all I'm asking. Now, take a look at the safe. It still works. It's a little unstable, but at least now I can see you and give you advice when needed. 
I'm not surprised the fragile blueprints didn't survive the fire. Don't worry though, our plan remains the same. If you can make it to 1895, you'll be able to get the very same blueprints from the safe before they're destroyed by the fire. See that huge metal box on the floor? That's a working prototype of my time space machine. At least, it was working back then. Let's see if it is now. You found the time space machine. I'm glad the fire didn't destroy it. But that leak, that could ruin it. Water and electricity do not mix. You should know this. I thought you were a minx. I mean, I thought you were that alley cat that keeps crying for milk. I called the elevator repairman and put an out-of-order sign on the door. Hm. If you ask me, we were better off when elevators had human operators in them. Remember that? Oh, you're too young.
What's this? That dove vanished right before my eyes. And I'm seeing color again. I know what this is. The bird is crossing through the ether. It must be the dove I sent during my early experiments. The colors you're seeing and the ether charge on the bird must be related. I need to make some calculations. Let me take a look at that circuit board on the left. Hmm, a little worse for wear. You'll need a replacement. And not just any board. It must be charged with ether in a specific way. I had a few spare ones. Take a look around. Do you by any chance know where my tools and spare parts might have ended up?
Hey, Miss Tesla, what are you doing down here again? Lost something, have you? I meant to tell you this earlier, but the broken elevator distracted me. You received mail from the Tesla archives. It's in your mailbox, and here's your key. I hope it's nothing serious. It's bad enough being related to that devil. Here, kitty kitty, I should name you Mazak. color again, but this time no dove. <clears throat> I've just about got it. Eureka! That's exactly what we need, an ether-charged circuit board. If fortune is on our side, this could be the missing piece we need. Search the exhibits. Yes, that's the one. I can tell this circuit board is humming with ether, slightly resonating with the sphere. Just what we need to get my time-space machine up and running again.
Nikola Tesla, our misunderstood genius, or our greatest scientific villain. Some say Tesla was a devil who meant all along to harm our world with his experiments. Others say his intentions were good, that an accident on the Wallencliffe Tower that fateful day caused the great catastrophe. One question remains. Can the effects ever be reversed? Was what happened that day a mistake? If so, it came at a high cost to humanity. Ether radiation damages the part of the brain governing the ability to see color and appreciate music. This damage is hereditary. All I intended was to provide the world with a free source of energy. Now I think I know what went wrong. I tried to correct the damage back in 1943, but I failed. I got lost here in the ether instead. Now you can help me right the family wrongs. There's the culprit, the tuning modulator. The blueprint I asked you to get contained critical calculations for the tuning modulator's ether resonance. The blueprints were destroyed in the 1895 fire, and I was too impatient to repeat my research. Shame on me.
Well done, Marie. My machine is running again. But you'll also need an address. Look for a small metal plate with the number 1895 and some colored symbols. They provide the time-space coordinates of our destination. I recall attaching it to the base of the generator.